I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play the rest of this. Liverpool, the See, land of scouts. Controversially, love the accent. Mm, it's I can't say I love it. I can't say I love it. It's quite from quirky, Liverpool but... is just funny. Like I've never <laughs> met someone from Liverpool that isn't accent. funny. No, they're just funny. I guess people. so. I guess so. I have been several times actually, probably three or four times. I don't know. I I don't leave feeling that fulfilled. To be honest, it's. I, I think it gets so much hype. To be fair, the night out is also quite good. Like you should go on a night out in Liverpool. Um, I just don't know if it's sort of like top end. I'm thinking here. Yeah, I'm. I am. I'm happy with that. I'm fine with that. Gorgeous. Cardiff. Um, Capital or where yes. Have you been to Cardiff? I have been to Cardiff. It was a while a while ago though, to be fair. I have been to Swansea right. quite recently. And it's got nothing to do is, with it, to be fair. I know. Well, they're both in Wales. Uh, Cardiff is just so bog standard. Yeah. And I, I don't think it's it's definitely not going anywhere near the top of the board for me. No. I'm trying to think of like one famous person from Cardiff, like one good person that's come from Cardiff. Gavin and Stacey's not Cardiff either, is it? No, that's, that's Swansea. That's the island. Oh, Barry, Barry Island. Sorry. Can I ask right. your opinion on a Welsh accent before we place it on the board? Yeah. Capital or where yes? Oh, I don't hate it. I don't, I wouldn't want to listen to it 24-7. <laughs> okay. But there's more offensive accents than the Welsh accent. It's true. We'll go. Second to last. Second to last. Cardiff. Sorry, Wales. There you are. Edinburgh. I Wales to Edinburgh. Scotland. I love Edinburgh. Love it. I've been. I did the Edinburgh Fringe once, so I spent two weeks in Edinburgh. Were you actually in the Fringe? Yeah. Oh, that's fun. But I love it. Okay, that is my point. Mm, I don't know if I love it. I, like the Fringe is obviously great. Yeah. Like that brings in a lot of tourism to Edinburgh, which leads me on to my main point of why I don't love it. Too many it's tourists. It's so touristy now. The Americans, they found about it on, yeah, found out no, about it on yeah, TikTok. Yeah. Like, oh my God, let's go to Edinburgh. You're annoying. Like I, the last time I went there, it's just surrounded. Edinburgh, my <laughs> argument is Edinburgh's got a castle. Not many places castle? have a castle. It's, it's half away from the sea. Yeah, brilliant. Go to the seaside. It's got trams. I don't think a tram is making it. Good restaurants. They have a restaurant dedicated to mashed potato. I've been <laughs> there. It was lovely. I'm seeing... Well, yeah. It's not going on the bottom. No, no, it is... I don't know though, I actually maybe no. would prefer Liverpool to Edinburgh. No, no. Okay. Hi. I would be okay with four. Fine. Yeah, four. I'll settle for four. Okay, we'll go four. I'm very happy with that. Edinburgh, four. Birmingham. Birmingham. The big accent, mess, I hate to say mess. it, <laughs> but the Birmingham accent is... We all know the Birmingham oh. accent is just terrible. Mm. Have you been to Birmingham? I went through it on the train <laughs> recently. I think a lot of people just go through yeah. it on the train, to be um, honest. It's <laughs> just got a bad reputation. It does, And it I does. think there must be a reason for its terrible reputation. No. There is no insane people from Birmingham. Um, no. Is anyone cool from Birmingham? Uh, we've got Ozzy Osbourne. Simon Cow. He's Simon Cow. Richard Hammond. Richard's love Richard, but he's not gonna yeah, change our opinions here. If that's here. all they've got, then I do I'll think though, are we, are we being really like obvious putting Birmingham last? Like it does get maybe not last. so much hate. Uh, maybe there. All right, go on then. So, there sorry, we are. Birmingham. Brighton. Brighton. I like Brighton. Seaside, pretty beaches. Hmm. Seagulls. Fun fact to you as well, Brighton actually has one of the UK's only nudist beaches. Does it actually? Do you want to know that fact? That's um, good, that's something that so Birmingham that's doesn't have. So. I think Brighton is its a very loving place. Um, it's very like diverse, I think, and mm. a good night out as well. Lots of really cool clubs and bars. This is beachy though too. And I, I guess it's a, a beach. it's a stone beach though. So is that a beach? Is that the only beach they've got? Yeah, I think it's just all stones. Oh. It's a bit you just lie in it, you're just like, ugh, Can't crippled. build a sandcastle. Maybe there. Right. It's lovely. Right, and six. Belfast. Belfast, I went last year actually just for a day trip, which mm. is fun. The Titanic Museum, that's like sort of the main attraction of Belfast. Um, oh, and we no. actually refused to pay because I think it was like 30 quid per person. But you can do that thing where you put your hand in the cold water. Oh. Proper Titanic experience. Maybe, maybe we should have just bitten the bullet and gone in, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think that's a you problem more than a Belfast problem. To <laughs> maybe I'm just too tight with my attractions. Was it friendly? Friendly city? 
Not overly, oh. not overly. And the shopping was quite bad as well. Right. It, well, I don't, it wasn't very memorable. But does it deserve last place? I don't think it does. No, I think it does. You think it does? I think it does. We're gonna have to put it last, but I'm, See. I'm really quite upset about that. We'll okay. put it last, but this is on here. This is, this is all on here. Sorry, Belfast. <laughs> Goodbye. Last place. Devastated. Newcastle. Right. Hello, Katie. <laughs> Here we go. Immediately, I'm putting Newcastle in the top spot. Oh. I'm from near Newcastle. <laughs> I'm from Northumberland. I tell everyone I'm from Newcastle. First of all, yeah. how many good people have we got from Newcastle? Cheryl Cole. Everyone loves Cheryl Cole. Mm, Alan like Shearer, Cole. if you know who that is. Football, Sam Fender. Yeah. You know how I feel you about Sam Fender. You love Sam Fender so much. Greg's came from Newcastle. Yeah, I guess that's one good thing. Yeah. The night out, to be fair, is incredible. It's got it's seven different bridges. Where else would you get seven <laughs> different bridges? Millennium, Who Time bridge, Bridges, Swing Bridge, Train Bridge. That's four. I don't know the other three, but they, I promise they do have seven bridges. Okay. okay it's, it's we've top. got to think it's, about the future here. Top. What cities are coming up? I know you love Newcastle, but take your bias out of it. Newcastle is it going to be better than other places? Yes. Oh. Newcastle's not going on the top. I'm not allowing that. I think, well, so it's second then. If you weren't here, I would put it here no, to be like definitely. That's not on. That's really not on. I do have this card in my hand. Mm, I can see that. <laughs> see ya. I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play the rest of this. Please. Yay! <laughs> For context, I'm born and bred in Leeds. May not sound it, but I am. So, Leeds, did you know, first of all, that outside of London, they have the highest paying jobs in the country? Wow. Incredible. The most pedestrianised streets I've ever seen in any in any city. Like the whole of the city centre in Leeds, no cars. Shopping is wonderful. Did you know also they have the most independent coffee shops in the country? Great. For all the coffee lovers, it's fantastic. And also Katie, um, I don't think we should forget that Leeds is in Yorkshire, which is God's country. God's oh God tier. There we go, it's in the title. I just um, went out there and got a bit of yeah. yeah, you do. Be careful with this. Also, Kay lived in Leeds. I, I actually am so deeply offended how you I don't even Leeds like it. For two years, and I still don't like it. I would put it lower. If I could put it lower, I would put it lower. But unfortunately, I can't. It, it should go. That's where it should go. Is it that one? That one? Third? It's this one, actually. No, that's second. Oh. Uh, that's <laughs> Oh, I don't like this. You're turning, <laughs> you're turning nasty. Leeds, love you, Leeds. Third, should be lower. Manchester. Manchester. I love Manchester. This is where we are now. I've been here for two months now, I think, mm -hmm. and I love it. I think the people are lovely. I think the people yeah, here are friendly. The people are nice, which is good. Nice. Now, um, Manchester, Manchester is obviously it is it is great. There's a lot to do. I'm my brilliant. my issue with Manchester is. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the cons list starts. So I do think it's a bit sprawling when it doesn't need to be. I don't be. even know what that means. <laughs> it's just a bit big. It is a bit big for no reason. I think it could be more compact, like huh? Leeds. So do we think first or second? I mean, we can only assume and draw to conclusion what will come up as our last option, which will be the capital. And that is not going in first. I have many no. things to say about that place. I'm sorry, but I actually do think London's better than Manchester. Oh no. Okay, I have the card. You You've got the card. With yourself. You do what you want, but I'm not watching. Thank well, you. Well, we have only left one spot for our dear capital. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. But thrilled. you like London. I like being a tourist there, mm. but I think the underground. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. London Underground. <laughs> It's a bit smelly. There's rats there. It's so expensive in London. People aren't friendly. Everyone in London is like in a rush. Like no mm. one wants you to be there when you go to London. It's so unwelcoming. I do like London. I think it has so much to offer. There's always stuff to do. There's so many events. The job scene is crazy. The best food in the Why UK. Don't I don't think you can argue that. You I'm going there. tomorrow actually. So yeah, I am. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I think it, I do think it deserves the top spot, and that does it hurt does me not, to say because I obviously want Leeds and Manchester to be great. I just don't think they're at London's level yet. But There's here. also no beach in London, and you know how I feel about beach. Mm. 
but I do like the... There's a few um, stony bits by the Thames. That's, that's not, that's what that's like, not a that's beach. That's what they're like, beach. And you would go and swim in the Thames. <laughs> no, I wouldn't swim in the Thames. Yeah, if well, we were... to swim in Newcastle River, I are you? I swam in Newcastle what? River, thank you. It's, it actually makes me feel a bit sick to do this because <laughs> I don't like London. There we go. Should we flip it upside down so London's at the bottom? <laughs> So, uh, with every episode of The Ranker, guys, we're going to get the opportunity now for each one of you to be able to move two cards if you would like to. Um, so, Erin, if you could uh, if you could go first. Of course, I have to go to first. Or swap any. Leeds! My baby. <laughs> Interesting. Second for Leeds. And Katie, if you'd like to swap. I think right now, Erin can't have any say on what's going, what uh, your choices are. I think we know what's happening here. I think we. I think know. we know what's happening, but I'm still gonna be okay with it. Maybe. No, <laughs> Katie, no. I think the no. people, the people of oh, Britain, are gonna thank me for goodness. this. They really are they gonna. They're raging at you now. Back what where it should the be. The hell. There we go. And now I I can accept Leeds that I think this is beautiful. I'm not even being biased. You are I'm being genuinely biased. Not, You're absolutely I'm, I'm being not biased. even from Newcastle. I'm from 20 minutes down the road. So you can't even call me biased for that. It's great. I feel underwhelmed. I feel I do. <laughs> Two seats combined. <laughs>